flying the flag uh, over Afghanistan is really more of a more of a tribute, uh, more of a, a symbolic tribute to the 2,341 U.S. servicemen and women that made that ultimate sacrifice here in Afghanistan. There's so many differences and variations throughout the United States, throughout American culture, um, but the flag seems to be uh, what's totaled up at the bottom. All the right, wrong, and different, your view, my view, it's all wrapped up into that. I can't think of a more powerful symbol that exists in modern times. It's a symbol of my duty, my commitment uh, to not only uh, not only country, but our, our commitment here, what we have done, what we continue to do, uh, those who came before me and those who, who will come after me. Uh, the first two flags I flew, uh, I sent to my children. It's a bookmark for the pages that we wrote in history. And, and I think that's important that they be able to go back to that chapter and reread it because there's some valuable lessons that were learned. My, me personally, um, I, uh, I, just, I just sent a flag home. I've, uh, I flew a flag here in the uh, chin bubble of every aircraft I have flown since I arrived. Um, and over 300 hours, uh, 300 of hours of flight with one flag, and it's, uh, it's sent home, and it's now flying over Clinton, Arkansas. I have one flag left to me. It's it's a very important. One. It's the one that I saved to the very end for my wife. I'm going to fly it for her, and the importance of it being the last flag that I'm flying. It kind of is, is closure for her. You know, it's it's the final mission. So that one's particularly near and dear to my heart.